G'day, g'day guys. Today I am going to town. I am literally trying to build a page from nothing. This is one of the 6x6 paper pads that was so kindly given to me by Sonia. Thank you so, so much. This is one of the layouts that I'm going to create with it. This is my design board that I was gifted from Scrapbook Fantasies. This thing is so good. I'm still feeling a little bit clunky with it, but it is fantastic. And this is going to show you why it's so good. Now, I've basically pulled out my star punches, but I don't end up using them because they're my CM ones. Can you see how the stars are, they're sort of like little curved star, like they've, it's hard to say, they don't come to a perfect, nice, sharp point. Now, I don't actually have a cutting system of any description. I could have used my Cricut, I could have jumped on there and cut out some stars, but I've also got this stencil and you know what? It's just as easy to trace. Stars are such a simple shape, simple shape to cut out and draw, trace, whatever. My theory is just draw it and cut it out. Didn't take very long and, you know, really, it's not that hard. So, as you can see, using my scissors there, cut them all out. I did skip over that bit because how boring. You don't need to sit and watch me do that. And I'm using a bit of Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide ink just to go around these aqua-toned... They're sort of a mint... I was basically trying to get the stars to throw to a more of a peacock green. That's what I was doing. And by adding that around the edges, it sort of makes you feel like that's what the color really is. So if you have a look at it at the very end, you'll notice that's what it's, that's what it does. Now, yes, I'm still sipping my water because of my stupid COVID. Um, now, I am... I did this like two weeks ago, guys. My, I'm watching this with you and I'm learning what I did with you. <laughs> now, these little teeny tiny stars, they are so painful to go around with ink. Do you remember we went through a phase where everyone inked the edges of everything always? Sorry, my, my throat is not being kind to me. Ah, when I'm doing this voiceover, <clears throat> I'm actually, what am I? Seven days, seven days from when I went down with COVID. So my voice is still not cooperating with me, but I'm trying to push through because, you know, that's what I do. Now, I am making the background myself. I've gone around the edge because I want a border around the page, okay? So, I've put a piece of washi tape all the way around. The reason I've used washi tape is because, you know what? Washi tape, by design, is temporary. So, for people, I've had some people asking me where to get removable tape from and all that sort of thing. Washi tape, by design... If it's new, don't go for your roll that you've had for seven years in the bottom of a plastic box because that will stick for sure. Guaranteed. It'll either have no stick on it at all or it'll be that gummy, you'll never get it off. But if you have a new washi tape roll, then... You can do it like this, and you can go around the edge. This is a quarter inch tape. <coughs> I'm sorry, I apologize. It's a quarter inch tape. Gave me my border, and then I'm using some mixed media. I'm just using a little bit of ink, and I'm just creating a little bit of a background, putting my stars across there, and I'm actually loving this. I'm really, really, really liking this, and I'm loving the distress watercolor pencils i'm also using my versifying claire to stamp that's actually going to become my title i just stamped one of my happy birthday stamps 
and you can see these watercolor pencils they are so good you don't have to press very hard at all to get color payoff the thing this is so bizarre to say this but I'm actually learning how to color in correctly and it is there's actually a really good art to it and how you layer up the colors with a light hand gives you a much better result I'm loving it guys I'm loving it so and the distress watercolor pencils are the bomb they are so pigmented it's fantastic well it's all pigment that's what it is it's a stick of pigment now this is coming together super super quick super easy this layout was not designed to be one that was difficult if you've got stars you can do it if you've got a star stencil this is the stickles um moon what's it called stickles glitter gel moon dust this is my favorite one out of all of them this one's my favorite the reason it's my favorite is because it's neutral it's clear so it can go over any color and it gives you a nice um silver slash opal looking shine i love it love it so i did buy myself a new pot of that and now i can open it because i just finished that one off now what else can i say just gluing down my stars nothing tricky here i'm sorry every time i breathe in i want to cough it's driving me crackers you'd think i'd just wait but the problem is i only have so much storage on my hard drives and because i speed up my videos i don't actually <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me because i don't edit them down to little tiny snippets it takes up a lot of storage so i have to be very clever about how i how many i keep in the backlog sort of thing so that's why if you have a look on youtube you can see that there's videos coming up and there's a stack of them sitting there all lined up ready to go and they're all loaded up because i can only keep so many on my hard drives don't get me wrong my hubby's got me lined up with hard drives he's got it all sorted out for me which is fantastic but in order to save them to a hard drive i need to do the voiceover so it's all right it's okay so hopefully you forgive me and if you don't want to listen to me coughing you can just mute me i suppose that works too this is the easiest i was only going to do through the center then i realized i really need some something in the other two corners so i'm using my distress watercolor pencils and i'm just I've just got a wet bit of water on a paintbrush and i'm just adding a bit of that pigment to my dina wakely media stamping platform that i now use as a paint palette it's fantastic it's exactly what i want as a paint palette it's perfect so and all i have to do is wipe it down with microfiber cloth and it's ready to go again it's fantastic now i'm just creating these two little clusters top and bottom because i was going to leave that quarter inch border all the way around and when i took it off it just made it look like it wasn't finished it looked like it needed more of something on the page so that's when i realized it probably just needs some extra stars some extra bits going on in the other two corners now i do want to do some homework here with you guys let you guys know so as you're aware now i'm only loading up three videos a week and i'm still going to be doing my at least one live a month due to having sorry that is thunder <laughs> if it's not coughing it's thunder like seriously welcome to queensland um so basically i'm trying to i'm committing i'm committing myself to doing three videos a week because i'm now obviously working full time blah 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 and i don't want to burn out obviously because if i do that then no one will get any videos because i'll be flat on the floor so i 
I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear whether you think it's enough. Is it not enough? Is it... What day would you like me to do a live? You know, it would obviously either be in the e evening or on a weekend day. They're probably the two better options. So let me know what you think. I'm not sure. Obviously, I am going to endeavor to continue to try because this is my baby. I absolutely love this channel. I love everybody who communicates with me, leaves me comments, suggestions, all that sort of stuff. <coughs> leaves me a cough, maybe. I don't know. Jeez, just write the word cough for how many times you think I've coughed. Good Lord. I have ice in my drink and you would think that that <laughs> sorry I just received an email okay side note squirrel okay so the kids are not allowed to use phones at school right our school has a thing where they have their phone in a pouch it's never bothered us we don't our kids don't have phones anyway never really bothered us right Angela has one now because she works and now obviously we've ended up caving and giving Jen a phone as well because of my work circumstances but they can't get a message at school so we're having terrible thunderstorms today and they're like supercell building situation it's it's pretty freaky anyway I quickly sent both Angela and Jennifer a um an email because I know that they check their emails because they do every single class they do it's on a laptop so I know <laughs> that they log on to their their computer every single class well they're just checking an email like you know if I've just written a message and it's just written in the comment part you know in the subject part of the email well you know and so that's the way we communicate so I've just sent them a message going thunderstorms don't stuff around this afternoon Jen's got training today anyway but um for the training and all the rest of it. It's like, oh, man. And I made homemade sausage rolls this morning. So I've just got to stick those in the oven. So the oven better work tonight. Because I've already done the sausage rolls. So, oh, it's crazy. Don't you love hashtag mum life? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Busy, crazy, out of control. But it's good. Wouldn't have it any other way. Love my kids to death. Taylor's working up the coast, so hopefully these storms haven't made it to her because otherwise she'll get shut down because she's a traffic controller and they're not allowed to hang on to a metal bat while they're in the middle of a storm, obviously. So, yeah, there you go. So there's a super quick update at the end. Once my voice decided to come good with me, it was not too bad. Um, and oh, I wanted to put a little hat on Jen in this photo. It's pretty cute. I wanted to do it, and I saw one on the papers out of this paper pad. These were Kaiser Craft paper pad, by the way. It was Kaiser Craft Oh Happy Day, it's called. And the stamp was Oh Happy Day stamps, Vicky Booten Warm Wishes stamps, and there you go. I don't think I do a close up, guys. Sorry about that. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back and I will chat to you soon. Bye for now.